Alright. Uh, here is your intro. I the camera won't be able to hear you. I fucking like yeah, okay, whatever. Yeah, we're just gonna we'll watch this, but I'm not gonna put it in the recording, you know? Yeah. It is a cool intro. Fighting, fighting, nuclear bomb. <laughs> So, uh, if you only ever played Three Houses and no other Fire Emblem, right? We played a little bit of a different one together. Did we? Yes, we did. I don't remember what it was. Okay. Uh, so if you did not know, most Fire Emblems take place in completely different universes. Oh, okay. This one is a direct sequel to Path of Radiance, uh, which was for the GameCube. Okay. But... While the stories are very closely linked together, and there's a couple details that like you are nice to know, you know, it's not a requirement, especially since I'm here and I can fill you in on some of the missing story beats. Okay. God, this cutscene is cool, though. <laughs> Here's a bunch of these people. Cats or dogs? Oh. No wonder everybody's settled an army to end this. <laughs> With a whole bunch of cat people, you have to wonder how wars even exist. The furries are too strong! We must <laughs> solve this down! <laughs> uh, Don't let them post the forfeit <laughs> That reminds me of, um... You ever watch, uh, ERB? No, never heard of that. Epic Rap Battles of History? Oh, Epic Rap Battles of History. Yeah, I've seen it once yeah. or twice. There's one where, uh... I can't remember what it was, what, who was supposed to be rapping each other. But at some point, fucking... Abraham Lincoln shows up, this is the both of them, and then it ends with, Ego! And then a giant... An eagle just appears, grabs him by the shoulders, and flies away with him. I think I got most of that. It's a little hard to tell because you are so quiet compared to the game. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's gonna be good. Like, and it's gonna be like that up until we get into the gameplay, you know? Oh boy. Because I can't adjust the volume until we get into the game. Yeah. So this is Micaiah, she's our main character, and she's got, like, a really cool design. And also, like, a really poor unit design. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, let's just, let's just get into the game and explain everything later. Figure it out as we go, just the way I like it. Well, yeah, I, I, I want to start... I, like, I want to do the intro when, like, people can actually fucking hear us. <laughs> you know? Normal mode, because we ain't no bitch. Although, technically, that's a mistranslation, and it's actually just the hard mode. Uh. The silver-haired thought. <laughs> Prologue, Under Grey Skies. <laughs> Chapter 1, Part 1, Episode 1. <laughs> Scene 1, Line 1. Hi. Not yet, sir. No. Chapter it's 1, uh, Scene People 1, can... blah blah blah. See, Line 2. Hello, Set. back. <laughs> <laughs> We're wasting our time. There's no one here. I know I heard something. Hush, Yune. Please, please don't got cry. In his mouth. If they hear you, he'll give us away. <gasps> Who's there? Is it the Dawn Brigade? No, it was just a bird. <laughs> what? What? Uh, what is it, the Dawn Brigade? 
okay. <laughs> you know, it's really funny that you find that line funny because that line is a huge meme in the Fire Emblem community. <laughs> you had no prior knowledge of that, right? No. <laughs> this is Look, actually, I think this is the one hair. we played before. Yeah, I, th I think maybe we played if like it's a the fortune teller. We'll be here. Yeah, we played a little bit of it. Without her, the Dawn Brigade is nothing. Oh, the general's going to love this. <laughs> How far did you get into three houses? Listen up, class. I'd only like don't to get hurt. Okay. Don't I didn't struggle. get super far into it yet. Gotcha. He's not alone. Oh yeah, no, I remember this. That guy's like busted over power. You know, this is so much higher than everybody else. He's literally just kung fu man. Yes. I'd say he's this world's Jackie Chan, but he really falls behind. She cast flashbang. <laughs> Let's go. You know. I don't know. If, I don't know why, but when you said flashbang, I imagined like a flash mob, but also an orgy. How do you get an orgy out of a flashbang? Well, because it's like a flash mob, but you're also banging each other. I feel like that's a felony. <laughs> <laughs> I went from a... <laughs> you went from a tactical device to a felony. <laughs> Alright. Something must have happened to him. Should I be concerned about the list of chemicals you keep on hand, sir? <laughs> Being of fucking felonies. Oh, that's great. Don't worry, he'll be here. Hey, you I have an like, idea. Can you tell me if this smells like chloroform? Like, <laughs> why didn't he use your farsight to see when Leonardo will arrive? Edward, you know that's not how it works. I foresee some things, but I don't get to choose what I see. I was just teasing. Yeah, in other words, it's plot convenience. Yes. <laughs> Still, Leonardo's never late. Something must have. Help! Someone, please help us! Bandits! Bandits are attacking the town! It's just like Fire Emblem Three Houses! And every other <laughs> Fire Emblem! It's always bandits! It's a huge bandit problem! <laughs> Where's the Imperial Occupation Army this time? How can they keep the peace when they're nowhere to be found? Who, the Petyon soldiers? <laughs> they don't care a lick about us! We lost the war and they won! We're nothing to them! They're only interested in chasing down the Dawn Brigade! They let the real scoundrels run wild and brutalize us! They're worse than useless. We'll be glad to help you. Just find someplace safe and leave those bandits to us. Yeah, and don't worry about us. We happen to be members of that same Dawn Brigade the Petyon troops are so interested why would you in. Just, why would you just tell someone that? <laughs> Don't worry, we're happy to help. We're, we're wanted felons! <laughs> <laughs> what? what? Really? You guys are in the oh, talk with me? Wow, my friends and I talk about you all the time. You? But you're just children. Oh, how Dane has fallen. Children voice to fight and steal for the good of the poor. But we can't fight the rogues, so we'll take you up on your offer. Please be careful, they'll slice clean through you if they can. <laughs> she goes, we're all gone, my country's falling apart. Like, anyways, oh, woe is me in my country. Be careful. <laughs> Good luck. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, this is about right. Ben and Lee is always either a muscular monster or ugly bastard. <laughs> this guy's both. Oh yeah, indeed. Listen up, you lads. This town is nothing but idiot kids and drooling graybeards. Steal everything you can. Yune, it's dangerous here. Go find someplace safe for now. Okay, for the love of God, let's lower this volume. Oh, yeah, wow, that's super cranked. For the record, this song that's playing right now is actually one of my favorites in the soundtrack. Oh, yeah. 
God, this game, it, this game is just beautiful. Just overall. Uh, get one with XP. Yep. Okay. So, couple differences from Three Houses. In Three Houses, you know how you everybody is either a noble or a commoner? And they kind of mm -hmm. just promote into whatever you want them to be? Mm -hmm. In this game, everybody has predetermined classes. Uh, so Edward starts as a Myrmidon. You don't promote into a Myrmidon, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and, and they all, and all the classes have set classes, and they have set promotions as well. So all Myrmidons mm -hmm. become Swords Masters when they promote. You know? So they, you also can't affect their growth rates either. So all of the growth rates are are set per character, not per oh, class. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Cool. You know how growth rates work, right? How leveling works and stuff? Uh, walk me through it anyways. It's probably just not very complicated. I'm okay. assuming it's a, the more they kill things, the more experience they get. No, well. so what I mean by growth rates is, uh, so there's a ton of stats, you know, there's HP, strength, magic, skill, mm -hmm. speed, blah, 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 blah. For every single one of those stats, every single character has a percentage chance called a growth rate, right? Now, every uh... time they level, the, every time they level, the game pings each of those stats once and if your growth rate lands its percent chance, like one from zero to one hundred, then you get a point in that in in that stat. Oh, okay. And I'm so that's if what Edward has a so, growth rate is. for example, Edward has a sixty percent strength growth rate. So every time he levels up, he has a sixty percent chance to get a point of strength. Okay. Uh, by the way, sixty is really really high, especially for mm -hmm. a Myrmidon. Like. Uh, Average is like 40s to 50s. 60 and up is really good. Okay. 30 and below is kind of low. So that's how, that's how that works. Oh, I guess we should okay. probably introduce like the, the playthrough now. <laughs> Hello, gentles and lady men. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that that's my intro on all my videos. Now, Checking out show timing as always. <laughs> uh, we we took so long to get to this intro just because we had to adjust, we had to fix that fucking volume. Uh, I'm I'm Mulan Gaming. I'm joined by my best friend Heavy here, and uh, we're gonna be doing some Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. Now this is a normal playthrough. Depending on how much we like, it, it, we end up liking this like playthrough, we might do a challenge run on hard mode after this. But it's it's basically Heavy's first experience doing a full Fire Emblem game, so you know how it is. Baby's first Fire Emblem. It's not your it's not your first Fire Emblem mode. It's more like eight year olds' first Fire Emblem. Yeah, second Fire Emblem. Probably be my first proper playthrough. Yeah, Fire yeah. It's your first pro. It's your first proper playthrough. Uh, so yeah, that is. It. We're we're not doing anything particularly special. We're just hanging out, being friends, and playing Fire Emblem. And that's all this is. Mm -hmm. All right. So allow You're me to introduce that. our characters that we have to start. So this is Micaiah. She's a level 1 light mage. She has 15 base HP. A little the, bit more fragile, yeah. Yeah, and uh, her growth rate in HP is only 35%. Okay, yeah. So, Micaiah has low HP and low speed and really high magic and really high resistance, and that's her whole character. Okay. She's also the main character. But the fact that she has low HP and speed means that she gets one shot and doubled by like every enemy in every chapter. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> well, it's usually either or actually. Sometimes she'll be able to survive one shot, but then she'll get doubled, or somebody will double her, but they will one shot her. You know, it's very iffy. Uh, okay. Basically, if you're in fighting range, you're probably fucked. Yeah. Edward here is a uh, level 4 Myrmidon. He's got a really high strength and a really high speed growth rate, and uh, okay. he needs his strength growth rate in order to not get weighed down by the Steel Sword that we're going to get in a little bit, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, Edward can be really good. He can also be, like, the worst unit ever. He's, like, one of those big swingers where it really depends on your, on your first couple yep. of levels. So, yeah. Well, then I guess we'll see how that goes. Uh, I'm gonna be letting Heavy make most of the decisions throughout this because I'm trying to get him to learn the game. So, uh, yeah, light has one, magic has one to two range, swords have one, obviously. Yep. So who do you want to attack the first? first dude here. Let's go Edward first. 
Yeah. And I'll go in more into detail on how all the mechanics of this game work as we go through. God, aren't these animations better than fucking Three Houses? Yep. More focused. Because they actually go a whole little animation. I honestly did not like Three Houses animations. I think this game looks way better than Three Houses. Also, I think I need to turn the game volume down a little bit more. <laughs> a pretty girl like you will fetch a pretty penny for me. Now be a good girl and come to Papa. <laughs> what a lie. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh no, she's speaking in tongues. I don't know, that's fucking moon runes, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what did she say? That better not have been an insult, you. <laughs> But it's not really a death animation, that's a... Oh fuck. <laughs> no matter the manner of man, the gods just didn't even end. Yeah, they just kind of, like, fall over. Like, oh no! Oh no, I'm falling, I can't get up. Alright, you, you want to try attacking with Micaiah first this time? Uh... Or just, yeah, keep, sure, or just keep giving her kills. What do you want to do? Let's... It's, up, it's up to you, Minan. Let's start with Micaiah, and then have Edward get the kill. Oh, can units not engage diagonally if they're melee? One more time? Can enemies not attack diagonally if they're melee? Uh, no, because the counts is too ranged. Oh, uh, okay. See, one, two, one, two. Okay, so it's very, very square then, okay. Yes. It was like that in Three Houses as well, by the way. Yeah, I'm gonna turn the game volume down a little bit more because I think you're still like. This game swamped. is fucking loud, man. It is really loud. Okay, try saying something now. Testing, testing. That sounds a lot better. Okay. You could probably also mess with my um. My volume on Discord. Actually, that's a good idea, because I I probably sw I probably swamp you, in all honesty. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm not sure how to do that when we're just in a call and not in, like, a group chat. Oh, well. I don't think it's that important. Audio's never important in a YouTube video. Uh... Alright, here we go. You should be able to right-click on my image, and it should give you an option to mess with user volume. Yeah, I tried that just now, and it didn't work. Oh, weird. I know, right? Fucking bitch of a Discord system. Fucking Discord. Fucking Discord. I should just uninstall this app. <laughs> um. Let's put. Micah should be able to hit that guy over the boxes, right? Yeah. Just because he's got and the it, range. It's definitely Micaiah, not Micah. Micaiah, whatever. I actually really like the name <laughs> Micaiah. Uh, here or here? Doesn't matter. Uh, nope. Right there. Yeah, hit the guy in the corner. <laughs> oh, four percent crit! Hell yeah! <laughs> Crits do triple damage in this game. I'm, sh I'm sure Holy they did the same shit, thing. In that's a lot instance. for a crit. Yeah. Wow. Okay. No wonder the percentage is so low. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Um. And, and then we'll just, just stick him here in the choke. Yeah, point. that's exactly what I was about to say. Stick him there, see how the enemy moves. Oh, backflip! I know, I love how he backflips the dude. <laughs> oh shit, I, I think I accidentally skipped that. Uh, he's yeah, like, Nakaya, what are like... you doing? And she's like, how'd you find us? And he goes, I followed a bird, yours in fact. What are you doing? Take on these bandits alone. That's beyond reckless. I'm sorry, Leonardo. We just couldn't leave the helpless villagers to these monsters. Please help us fight them. Oh, uh, so this is what I want. Uh, something I want to introduce to you. Uh, you're familiar with three, uh, with how skills work, right? In three houses. Yeah. They're how you would have like yeah. different skills like this, where uh, 
uh, yeah, here it is, where you have, like, different things like this, well, they're in this game, too, and, uh, they work a little bit differently, but also kind of the same. <laughs> so Edward yeah, here, like he's got whenever, yeah, stuff. whenever, it's all passive. Very, very yeah. rarely will you find an active skill. Uh... But Myrmidons, as, so these locked ones are per class. These are class skills. Oh, okay. So he gets plus five to his crit chance, and all, like, ground units get shove, which is something I'm sure you're not familiar with coming from three houses. I didn't play a whole lot of it, so... So shove here allows me to just shove Micaiah one space and use that as my turn. Oh, okay. Uh, Wrath... Oh, goddammit. Uh... Which is the button? Oh my god. There it is. Okay, I don't know what I did. Uh, Rathier, whenever he's below 30% HP, he gets plus 50 to his crit chance. So Edward's kind of a crit yeah. machine. Oh yeah, so he's he's very much kind of a glass cannon then. Mm -hmm. You want to keep him low to crank the crit chance. Watching lurk shit. Yes, but... exactly. Now, Micaiah does have an active skill, and it's called Sacrifice. And it's unique to her, and you cannot remove it. <laughs> For other characters, you can remove skills and give them to other people. It's really funny. Oh, okay. Right. But Micaiah's is uh, unique to her, specifically. And she mm -hmm. basically... Here, watch this. She'll just be like, hey, you have some of my HP. And I mean, then she gets XP for it. Oh, yeah. that's good. Uh, Leonardo has the worst skill ever. He has Cancel. Oh, cut down. Cancel an enemy's counterattack, so it means if he hits and gets the opportunity to proc this, the enemy can't hit back. Dude. Okay, but he's a ranged shooter. Exactly! So anyway. <laughs> exactly! <laughs> Why so, they fucking... that only works for him? Can't apply that on other people? No, you see how it doesn't have a lock next to it? Right, no, it's that means you... passive. Do you... No, <laughs> do, you see... do you see how it does not have a lock next to it? Is when... Yes. That means you can pass it to other people. Okay, so then that's not too bad if you were to stick that on Edward. God, I have got to, like... Yeah, because you could... You could put that on Edward and combine with his crit. That could, could make him a little crazy. Yeah, yeah, you can just give it to Edward. It's great. Uh, one thing of note, though, is that you see how the shove has five, it says 5 to the right and the cancel has 0? Yep. That is your skill capacity, right? See the capacity oh, bar okay. on the left? Now, the thing yep. is... The cancel costs zero because it comes with Leonardo, but if you take it off, it will cost capacity for other units. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, uh, I forgot to talk about Leonardo's growth rates. Uh, they're bad. He has low HP, low strength, and low speed. Yeah, I remember you saying before. Uh, his, he's kind of bad. The biggest contribution is that he comes with a Draco shield, so he can you can give it to somebody else and increase their defense by two. That sounds like Leonardo, pretty much. He comes with good shit for other people. <laughs> <laughs> one time, one time, I had a playthrough where for some reason I got the most godly levels with Leonardo, one after the other, without without skipping a beat. And he managed to go all the way to the end of the game in the last chapter, and then capped every single one of his stats four levels before hitting his max level. Whoa! I was like, what, what the actual hell is this? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. No, wait, never mind. Oh, what, do you, what do you want to do? I was going to say get Micaiah to heal him for that final level, because she's at 99, for fuck's sake. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tis um, not to be. Hey, Leonardo, you want to take a hit from an axe? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just put Edward beside him. That'll do. Save the Vulnaries. Alright, they heal 20 HP per use. In yeah, this game. be a waste. I mean, th this game gives you Vulnaries like candy. Oh, okay, well that's good. Thanks, Leonardo, you lured the guy over. Really good contributing job. to this team. experience. <laughs> You've become a very experienced punching egg. Holy shit, he doubles in this cha first oh, chapter. Wow. What the fuck? I, I, I'd say this, is the, this isn't the Leonardo I know, but like at the same time, I usually play this game on hard mode, so... Oh, uh, yeah. Or, 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 yeah, yeah. 
useless in one difficulty doesn't mean useless in other difficulties. Wait, who are we gonna give? Fight. Yeah, who are we gonna give the kill to? Edward. Uh, Edward. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. We we'll get two levels. We should get two levels this chapter, or this this, uh, this stage. The goal. She can't kill herself with that, by the way. She leaves herself with one HP. Oh, okay. And then she can't sacrifice anymore, I assume? Yeah. Magic, luck, resistance. That's a very Micaiah level up. What did I tell you? High magic, mm -hmm. high luck, high res, no HP, no speed, no defense. <laughs> That's about it. Alright, let's see if Edward's gonna work with us here. Oh, he's... Not leveling oh, up yet. Close, but he will level up this time. Yeah, as, as, as long as he can get a hit. <laughs> Let's smoke some weed. That's a good idea. <laughs> Honestly, we can just plug this hole up. Yeah, just have him sit there, put Leonardo behind him to yeah. some shots. Wait. Yeah, exactly. May as, well, may as well make him do something. Oh, boss moved. Who do you brats think you are, the Dawn Brigade? Yes. <laughs> As a matter of fact. <laughs> no terrorist wanted by the local government. <laughs> and, hey. All right. What are you gonna work with us, Edward? HP, strength, skill. Uh, he definitely needs the strength, but I, I wish he got speed with that. Because he needs the speed, too. Yeah, we should top him up so we don't fucking die. Can Micaiah uh, fully top him up? Oh, she can still fully top him up. It'll leave her with exactly one HP. Look at that! Yay or nay? Let's not go full. Let's go... It, it goes full or none. Oh, okay. Um, sure. It's not like the boss can hit her anyways. Yeah, that's fair. I'M CONTRIBUTING! <laughs> I may not be useful, because my arrowheads are not actually arrowheads. <laughs> the real reason he's useless, he's just shooting blunts. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, we're just not gonna let Edward attack? Yes, because... Uh, so, okay. so, say for example, if we attacked first, right? Mm -hmm. And then he hit us on retaliation. Then it would be his turn, and he would get the chance to attack us. Uh, and he would get two hits in a row. Twice. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So what you want to do is you want to have your guy in front not attack, because then you have the number of hits coming into you. Does that make yeah, sense? Yeah, that's fair. Unless it's a kill, of course. But All right, who do yeah, we want I the boss kill to? Me. Boss kill is basically an inst a, a guaranteed level. Uh, Let's go for Edward again. Make our face tank as tough as possible. Oh, you're familiar with how defense and resistance are different from each other, right? Uh, yes, I'm assuming it's resistance is magic, yes. defense, and defense is physical defense. Yeah, cool. okay. Just making sure. Congratulations, he can't counterattack you. <laughs> so fucking dumb. Oh, yeah. Damn it. Yay! We did it! You walk up and just like bomb the top of the head. <laughs> <laughs> like a baseball bat. Like a fucking uh oh, What is it? Like a what waffle just bat. Happens? You swing it. Oh, my head. oh he didn't level up from that. What the fuck? He's fucking close though. If he kills this dude he will. I was about to uh Why don't we just wait? Yeah, I was about to heal that so that we could like sacrifice next turn, but you think it might be better just to kill him with Micaiah? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Alright, Edward, if you're gonna level up again, you need your speed. So speed is like the best stat in this game, because uh, yeah. it allows you to double. You know? Uh, how you okay. attack so twice. Hey, what is it if your speed is double that of your enemies, you get two hits? No, it? it's if it's if your speed is four more than your enemy. But four specifically more. Okay. but specifically not your speed stat. Here. Um this stat, this speed stat is not what it goes off of. 
your speed stat is part of what determines your attack speed, and that's what needs to be four or higher, right? Okay. And the reason they're different, so your attack speed is your speed minus anything that might reduce your speed. Uh, so, so if you have a heavy weapon, you need higher strength. So for example, you see how this sword weighs seven? Mm-hmm. Well, how this calculates is that uh, you are weighed down by... You're weighed down by um, if there's if your weight is higher than your strength stat. So if that sword okay. weighed nine, he has eight strength, so that would weigh him down by one, and his attack speed would be eleven. Oh, uh, okay, I see. Magic missile. <laughs> I like how they don't do like their little intro dance when they're when they're like almost dead. I think it's a cool detail. Mm-hmm. I don't have the energy for this shit anymore. And I also really like that there's no fucking, like, snide remarks halfway through combat, like, in Three Houses. Like, uh-huh. have a taste of this! It's like, dude, come on. <laughs> part of that is, part of that camp is part of the draw. <laughs> uh, now that the, 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 now that everybody can actually hear you, you want to take over some voice acting roles? Sure. Huh? Uh... Do you want Edward, Leonardo, Micaiah? Who do you want? I'll just start with Edward. Uh, okay. Fantastic! We won! It's just like the simulations, Micaiah! <laughs> there are no match for us! Yuna, come here. It's the bird. In case you couldn't tell from the animation of the bird coming to her. <laughs> <laughs> you I had, did it! I was. I had a suspicion. <laughs> I wasn't sure. But thanks to you, I was able to figure it out. So. Full props. Thank you so much. We owe you our lives. Our powers combined. <laughs> you there. What are you doing? Stop immediately. Ah, they really are the cops. Ten minutes after the fighting zone. <laughs> oh, well, well. Look at the side to show up. Get on the ground. Soldiers. He's got a weapon. Taser, taser, taser. <laughs> <laughs> they certainly took their time, didn't they? We mustn't be caught. Micaiah, Edward, make a break for it. Run! We mustn't be caught. Micaiah. Edward, you run! Everybody else fucking stays. I'm sorry, we have to leave. I know. Thank you again for all you've done. Now go run! Alright, this is my favorite thing. So they have, they have two different paths that they can go up, right? We can go up the way that the boss was earlier, or we can go back the other way where we came from, right? Yeah. And they're like, we're gonna take the one right by the soldiers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, the kid said his name is Nico, and that he wants to grow up like, like Nakaya and have no HP. I too want to get one shot at everything. (laughs) Hold it! Stop right there! Stop right there, criminal scum. I was thinking the same thing. (laughs) Who are you bellowing at, soldier? Who the fuck are you yelling at? General Jared! When did you arrive? General Jared! (laughs) Isn't that a great name? General George. (laughs) Answer my question, maggots! I want to know who you were yelling at and why you did nothing but yell at them. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, sir. Least, I'm we glad just... they're at least self-aware of that. What? Self-aware of what? Uh, why, why were you just yelling at them? Oh. <laughs> why did you just stand there, you idiot? <laughs> we suspect they're from the Don Brigade, a band of thieves that targets goods living from the town. People say they give what they've stolen back to the villagers and strut around acting like heroes. They're said to have a witch among them. A girl called the Silver-Haired Maiden. They say she can heal wounds instantly by laying her hand on any injury. Townspeople treat her like a savior. You talk about sacrifice. It's an unheard of mm-hmm. thing. It's like a miracle, basically. And, Captain Exposition. What have you been doing about this band of fools? <laughs> <laughs> Sir, a few days ago, we stormed their hideout. We found a girl much like the Silver-Haired Maiden. You ran the dogs in their den, but they were cunning and cautious, and you lost them. That ah, sounds like a very good excuse. <laughs> I'm beginning to understand. How do you mean, sir? I'm beginning to understand exactly how incompetent you all are. <laughs> <laughs> Boo! <laughs> you, you there. Make the villagers talk. I want to know who these bandits are and where they're hiding. Uh, yes, sir. Understood, sir. I don't care who they are. 
The more kick they have, and then the more fun for us, don't you think, sir? Precisely. Overseeing this dusty old town is wearing thin. A little fresh game is just what I need. What a douche. He must, fuck, he must have just showed up if Captain Exposition had to explain everything to him. <laughs> Captain Exposition. He's, he's now he dead. Had, he had a long and wholesome career at the end of his spear. <laughs> Tellius, the year 648, early summer. This guy's got a sexy the voice. The eastern nation of Dayan lost a bloody Oh my god, they hired David Attenborough for this? Who's, who's that? Crimea, however, uh, he's the guy who does all of the voiceovers for, um, sovereignty of its like, animal discovery channel shit. Oh, is that actually this guy, or are you just making a joke? I'm just making a bit. Okay. Because I actually have a funny story about this voice acting. Well, share with the class. Well, we're listening, you know. forces have gathered all day in men of fighting age and put them to work in labor camps. So, in case you missed it, there was a, a war three years ago uh, where Dayan lost against Crimea. Dayan was the invaders, they were the bad guys in the last game. But Crimea didn't choose to rule over Dayan, and so the the country of Benyon took over. Uh, okay. And so now, instead of being the bad guys, we're sympathizing with Dayan for this game. So basically, somebody invaded and won, but they didn't, they didn't take over the nation, left a fucking... That came a power and someone else took it. Exactly. The yeah, okay. Of their nation. And these guys, the Dawn Brigade, are like freedom fighters, basically. Yeah, okay. Among the company is a young girl named Micaiah, who is said to possess mystical powers. The people of Dayan have come to know her as the Silver Haired Maiden. Silver Haired Maiden? They have come to think of her as the savior for whom they had been waiting. But now she's the savior. Benyon's forces have tried time and again to capture and silence. She gets a lot of nicknames. However, Micaiah's ability to sense impending danger has thus far. Like you don't even know. She gets a lot of nicknames. Oh boy. <laughs> the fucking uh the announcer in the fucking royal halls must be having a fucking blast. <laughs> We're gonna sit here for half an hour and list off every single title. Okay, so my my story about the narrator here. I was ha I was talking to some dudes. Uh, I think I, I I was talking to some dudes. We were talking about like voice actors, and I I mentioned the voice actor for the narration in this game, and I'm like, dude, it is the sexiest voice actor I have ac ever heard. Like his voice just drips sex, right? <laughs> and yeah. the other guys were like, no, 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 dude, you haven't heard a sexy voice actor until you hear the narrator for this Halo game. And, like, they were talking about that voice actor in the same vein I was. And we had a debate for, like, 30 minutes. And then we actually listened to, like, the narration to try to see who was better. Same voice actor. How should we explain yesterday to Soth and Nolan? It's like you said, we didn't have a choice. We had to save Nico and the townsfolk. But I admit, getting spotted by those Benyon soldiers was unfortunate. Still, I'm gonna do it all over again. The worst part is, they know we're near. They can find this hideout as easily as they found our last one. Just don't get it. This is our country. Why do we have to live in hiding? Like prisoners in our own land. Come on, you know why. We lost the war. Crimea won. It's not our country anymore. End of story. I hate to break it to you, Leonardo, but Crimea has been losing the war against Russia. <laughs> <laughs> Except that Crimea walked away after winning, leaving those heartless Benyon dogs to rule our country for the past three years. The occupying soldiers march around like they own the place, doing whatever they want, and no one dares to stop them. Yeah, that's some vulture shit. To be fair, Crimea didn't have the resources to rule another country. Alright, which one do you want? Soth and Christopher Nolan. I'm glad you remember their names. <laughs> I'm, I'm very proud of you for remembering their names. Yeah, it's so oh, no, I don't over. remember their names. They're just written in front of me. <laughs> what? What do you mean they're written in front of you? Oh, duh. <laughs> 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 I 
it's like, damn, your memory is really good if you remember this from when we recorded, like, way long ago. You're right, I do remember from five seconds ago when I read it. <laughs> oh, so which one do you want? Oh, no. South is the green-haired uh, dude, Nolan's the brown-haired dude. I'll do Nolan. Huh? Soth and Nolan too, welcome back. I'm glad you made it in one piece. At last, the Dawn Brigade is all present. You are usually late, are you delayed? There's only like five of them, huh? Yeah, there's exactly five of them. I think our fame's catching up with us. Benyon patrols are everywhere. It took us a while to avoid them. I've never seen so much Benyon activity in this area before. Is there something we should know? Alright, Leonardo, you got it. Um, well, actually, the truth is... Uh, this was pointed out to me in another LP, but, like, Leonardo had nothing to do with the fight with the bandits. He joined in halfway through, and Micaiah's like, you got this, Edward, I'm gonna go over here. <laughs> <laughs> she just fucking dips. <laughs> <laughs> you showed up late, doesn't have the full story. <laughs> she just fucking dips. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> so that... Oh, this is you. Ah, uh, that's what did it. You had a run-in with bandits? By the way, Nolan's, like, nickname among the di Fire Emblem community is Chuck Nolan. Chuck Nolan. Because he's just that much of a badass. Oh, boy. And Benyon's soldiers spotted us and we made our escape. I'm sorry, we only wanted to help. We were careless. We'll worry about that later. More importantly, Micaiah, were you seen healing anyone with sacrifice? I'm afraid so can't allow anyone to know what you can do. Healing without tomes or staves is a rare gift. Almost unheard of. If anyone saw you doing it, you'd be giving away immediately. I don't know if I can keep you safe. I know, so... I know you know, but you keep doing it! <laughs> <laughs> this place isn't safe anymore. We should leave at once. Correct. Ah, but it would have been nice to eat just one meal in peace. An alley in Nevada. <laughs> Meanwhile, somewhere in Nevada. <laughs> Nevada! <laughs> yes! They fucking. Dea names their capital city after the most boring state in the United States. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know! It seems like the fucking bomb to me with how many craters are in Nevada. <laughs> This way is no good either. Benyon soldiers have every alleyway blocked. A kitten couldn't sneak past. Oh wait, this is yours, isn't it? Yeah, this is mine, yeah. Oh well. A kitten couldn't sneak past them. It looks like this really is the least guarded path, and even so, it's swarming with soldiers. There are more coming up behind us. We're trapped if we don't move quickly. It's Irish now, huh? <laughs> what? We can't wait for so. The way you started. They're coming more up behind us. <laughs> Did I? I don't. I, I can't. I can't do an Irish accent for shit. But like, I could try with Micaiah. <laughs> Let's make our main character fucking Irish. Why not? The stairs by the church lead to the marketplace. We can break through there. I'll go first. Secure the way. Micaiah and Leonardo, cover my back. Remember to keep your distance from the enemy. Team up and bring them down, one by one. We'll be careful. Leave it to us. So, Leonardo shoots first, Micaiah kills. Dot, dot, Edward, dot. you bring up the rear. Your skills have improved, but you're still new to fighting. Don't rush, in the, don't rush the enemy. Just focus on surviving their tactics, got it? Besides, if you hog all the XP, I'll be useless. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I got it. Okay, so Nolan is fucking awesome. Oh, yeah, he sees the fucking face tank. Yeah, 29 base HP, 9 base defense, 12 strength, 10 speed. This guy's a monster. Unfortunately, yeah. he is he has a steel axe, which does weigh him down by quite a bit. Oh, yeah, I see that. His speed is, like, basically, yeah, it's not great. He's weighed down three. He needs strength. What points. are his, uh, his growth? 
a uh, really high strength, really high speed, just like Edward. He's got very oh, okay. he's got very similar growth rates to Edward, which is rare in a fighter uh, to have a high speed stat. So it's rare for Myrmidons to have a high strength and rare for fighters to have high speed. So <laughs> these guys go hand in hand together. Okay, well that's good then. Uh, he also comes well, with Earth Affinity, which is really good because it means his. Uh, we'll go over supports later. You don't know about him. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no, he's really fucking good. All right. And um, if you're if you're looking for like a member of the Dawn Brigade to bring into the end game, Nolan and Edward are the two best picks. But Nolan is more likely. Okay. Also, he uses axes, and axes are really good in this game. Uh, I'm so, noticing a lot of axes in the fight so far. <laughs> well, it's just bandits, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, so this right here, uh, this is a, a, a house we can visit. It gives us a vulnerary. Do, is it worth it? Yes or no? Uh, yeah, we can send Leonardo to grab it and then just have Nolan pull the choke with Micaiah behind him. Alright. You're calling the shots, sir. Ta-da. Alright. So don't... Where, don't where are we... Yeah, where are we putting... Just keep in mind, we have a 10-turn timer. We need to get on the space with Micaiah in 10 turns. Okay. So... Where am I going to put Nolan? Uh, I'll let you make the call here, and we'll go with whatever you say, and then I'll tell you what I usually do afterwards. Mm -hmm. Well, originally I was thinking of just bringing him forward so he's in front of the single tile space so we can funnel the enemies. And then have uh, the ranged units pick them apart. Can probably still so, like, do right that. So, like, right here? We... Uh, one for the Because keep in mind, one of, our ra one of our ranged units is over here. He's going to yeah, use this yeah. for three turns. That's, that's just what I'm thinking. Um, depends on how aggressive we want to be, because we could push all the way up to the barrels, have Edward on his left, and then just face tank the front with Makai supporting the right side well, to kill that off quickly. Do keep in mind this guy has a javelin. Uh, does that counter axes or swords? Uh, weapon triangle in this game is lances counter swords, swords counter axes, axes counter lances. Okay. This guy's also stationary, he doesn't move. Oh, so he only attacks when we hit him first? Well, no, he, he'll attack anybody within range. Okay. But he just won't move around. Okay, then that means we can put someone in front of him, but just outside of his range and we'll be good. Yeah, so where do you want me to put Nolan? Here, here, hey, here, Hey, let's here, put Nolan here, here, here. Uh, where the barrels are, but to the left. Right here? Left tile. I, went, I meant the tile to the left of that. That this one. one. Yes. Gotcha. And then we'll put Edward right beside him. Okay. And Micaiah right there. Gotcha. So, FYI, what you, do, what you are doing here is actually really close to what I did. I put Nolan right here. Ah, uh, okay. And then I put Edward right here, just like you did. And the reason I put him here is so that when this soldier attacks Nolan, he can attack back. Mm -hmm. Because he'll be in, in melee rather than at range. Yeah, yeah. So very, very good job. Good job. Captain Isaiah, it's just like you said. A group of, a group that appears to be the Dawn Brigade is storming the alley. How generous. Generous of them. Oh, you want this I'll one? I'll wipe them out and advertise my exploits to our commanders back home. You want to just take bosses from now on? Sure. <laughs> you are all the bosses in the game. I am all the manly men. Except I, <laughs> except I want to be General Jerry. Yes, okay, you can have General George. <laughs> General George. <laughs> I, I, I think the name Jared is pretty cool, not gonna lie. Jared is, Jared is good, it's just funny to me. Uh... <laughs> oh Ooh, shit. Goodbye. This is actually <laughs> really, really bad. If he doesn't level up like a point of defense here, he might get one shot by the dude behind him. Ideally, you don't want Edward to kill here. Ah, shit. Rip. Because now that that space is opened up, Right, there's a second dude with an- oh, wait. Yeah, there's a second dude with an axe. Oh my god, he leaves him at 1 HP! Oh, oh, he dodged. Whew. Yeah, he does leave him at 1 HP. And we'll get... So, on hard mode, there's more enemies on this map, FYI. <clears throat> Damn. Oh, Javelin has range. Okay. Yeah, that's why I put Nolan, like... Uh, the space I didn't out. realize Javelin has range. I guess it should be in the name, but... 
I, I, fig I figured you were familiar from Three Houses. Alright. Not that familiar. Um... By the way, this house right here that this guy is standing on, we absolutely want to visit. Because it has a hand okay. axe, which is the one to range version of axes. It's like the javelin, okay. but, of axe, but for axes. Okay. Let's have Micaiah kill the dude in front of Nolan. I was actually about to suggest can... the same thing. So that Nolan can get right in the javelin's face. There you go. Also, did Edward level speed? I don't remember if he leveled speed or not. I know he leveled strength. Mm, I think he did health, strength, and... No, no speed. Yeah, he did health, strength, and luck. Gotcha. That's what he got. Gotcha. So you want to put him here? Put him right there. Get Fully right in the face here. of the javelin guy. Attack or no attack? Uh... I'm kind of tempted to attack just because <clears throat> we're going to have another axe user in our face right after. Yep, attacking is the right call here because we want to kill this guy in retaliation so we can take Ooh, the hand axe. Especially with the miss, that's really nice. But it's also the right uh, call because we want to get the hand axe as fast as possible. And if we yes. wait, then we have to wait another turn to get it. And let Edward waste this last guy and our right flight is totally good then. Yep. Good work, dude. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. You got, a, you got a natural knack for this. Hell yeah, I love strategy games, dude. You're fun. One thing I like to do is give Nolan the, the Draco shield that Edward that Leonardo has. Mm, yeah, because he's already real, got a lot of lot of health. Mm -hmm. He's a good pick for it. Yeah. But if you want to save it, there's another unit that I also like giving it to that we get in a couple chapters. I miss again! See ya, fucker! <laughs> it's because it's a lance, dude. Minus 10% hit chance. Okay, so he's better at range than melee. Well, no, lances have a minus 10% crit and hit. Sorry, hit and dodge against axes. Oh, Weapon yeah. triangle. Alright. Uh, let's put Leonardo, uh, the tile above Edward. Okay. Do we want to kill this guy or just leave somebody else to do it? I'm not sure if I want him or Makaya to do it. How close is Makaya to leveling? Decently close. Decently close. That kill might get her the hit, so let's just put him there to support and wait. Okay. And let Makaya kill. Visit? Yeah, let's do this. Yep. Because we're going to kill the dude anyways. Yeah, yeah. Those beasts, they do whatever they want in our country. They're even sending our clergy to their awful camps. But I'm helpless. I don't have your strength and courage. This axe, you should have it. And axe. It's so small, it fits in the palm of my hand. <laughs> Ooh, and that's nice. We have another uh, natural choke point there. We should yep. put Edward where this dude is standing. Alright, yep, yeah, let's do it. Ooh, perfect level. Hell yeah. Nice. Alright, what do you got for us, Micaiah? Strength, strength! strength. Why strength? <laughs> what are you gonna do with strength? You don't have any no, physical no, weapons. No, lift that book higher. No, 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 not that far. Right here? Where the bandit was standing. Right here. Yes, because if someone gets in there, they get double hit by Nolan and Edward, and they're fucked. I don't know, because you know, we could put him, honestly, just right there. He'll be able to kill this dude in just Edward two combats. Have a lot of health. We can heal him up with a vulnerability. It's got eight uses. Yeah. Well, let's move him over and do the Volnary. Right here? Sure. Because, like, he's gonna... He's fast enough that I think he should double the guy. And he also gets weapon triangle advantage, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, God. not against that! <laughs> I told you! <laughs> but you see, now Nolan has a hand axe, right? So he can throw over. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Look at that. Tell me it's not beautiful. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see what this does. Does uh, Hand Axe suffer in close combat? Uh, it's, it it, it's, 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 the stats are exactly the same. Oh, also, okay. it, it functions like a boomerang and goes back to him. You know what I, when you say a Hand Axe, I expect, like, you know, something throwing axe sized. Not, but as big as the axe he had before. 
Does he get one shot? Okay, he does get one shot. And how much damage does this guy do? 13 attack versus 5 defense, so he does 8 damage? Okay. So if he's full health, he can survive a hit from both of these guys. Okay. So, by the way, weapon triangle advantage. If you have the weapon triangle advantage, your unit gets plus 10% hit, plus 10% avoid, and plus 1 damage. And if you have weapon okay. triangle disadvantage, it's minus 10% hit, minus 10% avoid, and minus 1 damage. Which and means... That can be scary, because yeah. it's percentage, not exact value. Well, no, it's... It's... Plus 10%, like, from... Nine, from 80 to 90, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, but what that actually means is because it's 10% hit and avoid, it's actually a 20% swing. Okay. Right? Do we want to heal him up and then just move him forwards further into the choke point? Um... He can survive can a hit push... from each of them. Yeah, I'm just thinking if we push him forward to the axe dude... Uh, if we get very aggressive here... We can't push him forward to the Axe Dude. If he pushes forward oh. to the Axe Dude, this guy will come down and hit Nakaya. Yeah, that's just what I was about to say. I'm thinking right here and, like, just, yeah, just pop a Yeah, put him right there, pop a Vulnery, and put Leonardo behind him. Huh? Because then at least he'll trade shots with the Archer if the Archer shoots Well, the guy. Archer just won't shoot Leonardo, he's gonna shoot Edward. Actually, what we could... Yeah, no, actually, let's, let's, let's do this. Sacrifice? Sure. All right, my dude. Ooh, take that. Hell yeah, Se mi a miss on a 77%, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, and the axe didn't move, okay. Um, how far can Nolan move? Can Nolan hit that? Oh, yes. Send him after the archer. So yeah, the, uh, the hand axe... Uh, oh, hold on. Uh, so the hand axe, when you compare their stats, um, the hand axe has less weight, so he's not weighed down by it at all, so he's got his full speed. Mm. But it has less damage and less hit chance as well. Okay. See, this almost one-shots the dude. Yeah, let's go with that, then. What turn are we in now? Fourth or fifth? Five. We have Five? plenty of time. Okay. We got plenty of time. Okay. Let's send uh, Edward up. Fight the axe dude. Have, uh... Yeah, go for that. Uh, let's, I, I think we should probably wait for this one. Yeah? Yeah, okay, let's sit there, then. Wait, actually, this guy is stationary, I'm pretty sure. So, we can risk yeah, this. Let's just... let's just blow through here. The double black flame. <laughs> Twice in a row. Oh, All right. right. Let's have weapon levels. That means you can use C-rank swords now. Uh, that's determined by... Uh... Oh, damn it. Uh, this stat right here, so yeah, it's D. D rank. Yeah, okay. So now you can use C rank in the both. And, uh, just get the kill of Micaiah. We're not gonna- we're not gonna fucking use Leonardo. Yeah, sure. Shoot the, uh... Archer. Archer. So he don't try to snipe Micaiah on us. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Second battle of the game, main character's dead. <laughs> You're a walking bag of XP. Clonk. 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 Yeah. <laughs> you gotta love that sound effect. Yeah, he did he did three straight backflips against that guy. <laughs> yes. He is fucking schooling this dude. Oh, I love it. Uh have Micaiah take the kill again. Yeah. Good call. Alright, now, um, this guy has a hand axe, this guy has a steel sword. 
both of these guys are stationary. However, as soon as you go into, as soon as they've gone into combat with you once, they will start moving. So okay. we don't want to engage them until we're sure we can take them. Okay, well then let's just put... Just heal everybody up? Yeah, pretty much. We can grab one of their herbs from Micaiah with Nolan. Mm. So he doesn't use up a vulnerary when we don't need to, you know? Yeah, okay. That should work. And we don't actually have to kill the boss, all we have to do is kill this guy and escape, but we want to yeah. kill this boss because see how the steel sword is in red lettering? Yeah, that means he'll drop it. Exactly. Okay. Uh, how much does the steel sword weigh? It weighs nine. I think Edward has enough strength that he doesn't get... Yeah, he doesn't get weighed yeah, done by he that. He has just enough. Look at that. That's perfect. Okay. And let's um, let's put Edward in front of the steel sword, dude. Well, I, wanna, I think I want to spend Leonardo another. Take the shot. Should we spend another turn healing? Um. Just to be on the safe side. We could let Micaiah heal. Yeah. Well, we don't want to start until we have everybody full, right? Because they're going to start yeah, moving okay. as soon as we engage them. Uh, we only have a couple of turns though, so we might want to do think, it now. I, I think we have enough time to wait. We're only going to have two turns. That's fine. It doesn't take okay. three turns to kill somebody, you know? Especially not a Myrmidon boss. They're not very tanky. Alright, so we can Thanks. put him right here so that we don't, we don't get, like, uh... Or no, because we, we don't want to put Edward here because then he'll take both of these attacks, right? So let's put Edward here, I think. Yeah, and he'll have the bonus against the axe anyways. Exactly. Okay, go for it. Nice. Ideally, we want to have Edward get the final kill against the boss so that uh, we don't have to spend any time trading sh trading shit around in the next chapter. Yeah. Alright, who, who gets this kill? Anybody close to leveling up? Uh, Nolan could use it. Should we just put Nolan right here in front of Isaiah and then hand axe this dude? Sure. Yeah, like this. Mm-hmm. Boomerang hand axe. Not quite. Uh, what we can even do? Okay, so this is a an old fire emblem trick. You ready to have your mind blown? So you see how he has the hand axe equipped? Well, we can use the Anarda here to trade the Steel Axe over, but then you just set it so that you can you make Nolan trade with himself and swap it to the top. And now we've equipped the Hand Axe, the Steel Axe, without having to actually use Nolan. Alright. Cool trick, huh? Interesting. Probably just take a pot shot. Yeah, may as well. Step aside! The girl we've been looking for. The lucky little escapee. Too bad for you, sweetie. Your luck ends today. Aw, you called me sweetie. Magic missile. <laughs> <laughs> I like how he went to very, very different ideas with that, where that dialogue was going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I figured he'd go after Edward. What fast little mice you are. How long do you plan on scurrying around in back alleys? Dude, Edward is a dodging machine. Dude, Edward has dodged like fucking everything in this game. He's also leveled up like four times. I know. HP, strength, <laughs> skill, luck, defense. He still hasn't leveled up speed, motherfucker. <laughs> I thought you said his growth rate was high. It is! <laughs> He's sure? Yes! Uh... I, I know I said we should probably give the kill to Edward, but he just got his level up, you know? It seems like such a race. Yeah, no, Nolan needs should get the kill. Just you the think? way our front line... Well, what's, what's oh. Micah's... What, 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 Micah's at, what, level 3? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, She's definitely the furthest behind. She should get the last hit. Alright. If she kills. Yeah, it was definitely either her or Nolan, you know. Either one of them would get the level up. 
So light magic has low damage but high hit chance, so you're very likely to hit. Mm, okay. Uh, HP, magic, little... speed! Holy fuck, Sage! Shit. Holy fuck, she got everything Six. she needed! <laughs> Six upgrades! Holy fuck, woman! <laughs> we could also have Edward take the sword from her and yeah, have her yeah. go to... Yeah, we can actually just trade it right yeah. over. Mm -hmm. This is your, your quote, buddy. Oh, what? This can't be! I'm in my prime! Not so easily back in <laughs> Yeah, we can yeah, we can just try this over. There, bitch. And it just so happens he got his C rank too, which he needs for the steel sword. Right. Fuck Edward is really firing off on all cylinders today. Except for his fucking speed, which he needs. <laughs> oh fuck. Uh oh. Okay, we're good. Whew. If this were hard mode, <laughs> if this were hard mode, she'd be dead. By the way, like she's legit, like one shot by the javelin dude in chapter two. Oh fuck, she's dead. She's dead. Oh <laughs> uh, well, not you see. This was on purpose because we're trying to give Edward speed levels. <laughs> Alright, we've already done this. I'm just gonna blitz through it this time. Oh my god, Holy it's so- fuck. Holy <laughs> 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 shit! Yeah, I wasn't joking about the game's volume, man. It's loud. <laughs> that's so bad! Oh my god, that's so bad! Get ready for that every time though. Get ready for that every time we die. <laughs> I don't think they'll one shot Micaiah. They'll, they'll come close, but they won't one shot her. And she definitely won't kill them back, so. HP strength speed! Yes, it was all it wasn't it wasn't for nothing. We got the speed we needed. <laughs> What we got here? HP, magic, speed! Luck and resistance. Luck and resistance, okay. Big fan of that. Alright, we'll take that. Yeah, that's right, So now good. I'm gonna equip the hand axe, use the vulnerary. Alright, what do we got? HP, skill, speed! Luck! Perfect, so that's what he needed. Nice. And More he has speed. just enough strength, too. Yep, exactly. Oh, oops. <laughs> I waited instead of escape. <laughs> Slick. Why otherwise? No, but you get extra rewards for it. Oh, okay. Everybody, this way. Hey, Soth, nice to see you. There he is. Thanks for all that help you did in the last chapter there. They're running to the center of town. Stand there and yell at them. <laughs> no, he specifically said after them. Good work. I see the markets. If we can blend into the crowd, they'll lose us, and we'll be free and clear. Hey, lady! Nico! They're after you again, aren't they? Are you and your friends alright? Mow the onions! <laughs> Where'd they go? Mow the onions! It's very un gnarly Kuga of you. <laughs> Leave the soldiers to us. Go on now. Get yourselves to safety. Quickly, don't dwaddle. You must escape. You're only hope. I don't know how to do an Irish accent. Do you know how to do an Irish accent? Kind of. You want to take over Micaiah? Uh, <laughs> you want to go for it now? Um, <laughs> At least for a couple. I get so much. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. Wait! Wait. Like... Oh, let's see. Catch them! Why am I finally got mustache? Ah, oh, civilians! Quick! Commit a war crime! What are you stopping for? Well, well, they... You won't get past us. We stand by the Dawn Brigade. 
That's right. God us protect the Dawn Brigade. Uh. You want to just you want me to take over Makai again? Yeah, you take over. Okay. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, something terrible's about to happen. Too much. What is it? No, we have to go back. Yeah, you can give the Irish accent to Ike. <laughs> Fucking speaking of Crimea. <laughs> what? You're letting this rebel stop you? Oh, this is you. What? You're letting this rebel stop you? Ready your bows! Nobody defies the will of Bag Onion. Bag Onion. That's where they got the moldy onion phrase from. Oh, there goes the small child. Shot a kid in the street. No! How could you shoot a child? You vicious savages! Someone! Someone help him quickly! Please, this child is dying! See, I like how, like, Nico is supposed to be this lady's daughter, right? Mm -hmm. Or this, they, this lady's son. <laughs> <laughs> right? But for some reason, th she is named Lady, while the old lady that might have- that seems to have no relation is labeled Grandmother. <laughs> Everybody in this town is related. Pay heed! This is what happens when you meddle in big onion affairs of state. Remember it well. I didn't realize that big onion empire's affairs of state included murdering children in the street. I like this guy, he's got sass. What do you mean? It's our favorite pastime. <laughs> <laughs> Don't point your fingers at us, or we'll point your arrows at you. We're just doing our job. If you're upset, blame it on the terrorists. They made this happen. Didn't you see? They put their fingers pulled back the bows and everything. It's the girl we're looking for. Call for reinforcements. Surround and arrest every last one of them. What's happening? What does she think she's doing? Hey, you step away from that child. So my favorite part of this is the old dude in the background. He looks like he <laughs> wants to. <laughs> yeah, he wants. It looks like he wants to tap that ass. <laughs> I'm gonna get myself a handful of these. <laughs> <laughs> it's a miracle. We've seen a miracle today. That was sacrifice. He was gonna say that girl. was sacrilege. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not, you're not the first elf here to make that joke. <laughs> that girl, she must be the silver-haired maiden. Only she professes sacrifice. Stop right there! After them! We can't let them get away! Quick, shoot more civilians! We still stand by the Dawn Brigade. What is wrong with you people? Did you hear me? Clear a path or you'll end up like that fool He-Man! Uh oh! <laughs> Wait, what is wrong with you people? <laughs> you sniveling idiots. Why are you just standing there? Give chase now! <laughs> We'd love to, but. <laughs> townspeople are blocking our way. Oh, I see. The townspeople are blocking your way, you dunce. <laughs> Yeah, really, really good job you did there, Micaiah. You saved that one fucking kid. <laughs> Clean out those dirty ears and listen to me. You are soldiers and I am your commander. You will follow my orders promptly and without hesitation. Understand, you useless vermin? No. Jared is actually a really good villain. He's like one of the best villains in this game. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. If it's not one thing, it's another. Why am I always stuck leading the buffoons? It specifically says in his character profile, I think, that he's one of the few people in the Benyon army who got to where he uh, who got to where he was on pure skill and competency rather than just knowing the right people. Ah. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> Are you awake now? Thank goodness. Do you see? This is why I told you not to use sacrifice. We sure showed them in Nevada, huh? I guess we can't <laughs> go back there. Not for a while, anyways. You know what they say, what happens in Nevada stays in Nevada. I'm so, so fond of Nevada. It's where we all met. It feels like it's my <laughs> only real home. We will return someday. 
It's where we all met. I don't remember what happened, but I know we met there. <laughs> <laughs> we will, Micaiah. I know you, and you have a way of getting what you want. Because you're always there to help me get it, so... <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <sighs> That's such a loaded sentence! <laughs> Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. This was, as ever, a ton of fun to make. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, uh, please do consider subscribing. It really helps the channel out. And have a great day.